Sana. Asante sana Bishop Mulwa na viongozi wote wa kanisa ambao wako hapa. Familia ya Mzee Mutulu, Your Excellency the Governor, all the leaders who are present, all protocols observed. Nyinyi watu wa Katangi, you are very patient people. Mumekaa hapa kuanzia asubuhi naona muda umeenda. Bishop Mulwa wakati ambapo eh, Mzee Mutulu alikuwa anaongea alitaja marafiki zake watatu. Tumeketi tumesikiza kanisa, hiyo ndio ilikuwa rafiki yake wa kwanza tumesikiza wana KNUT rafiki wake wa pili sasa ni wakati wa chama cha ODM rafiki wake wa tatu naomba naomba ya kwamba nitachukua muda sawa na ule ulichukuliwa na kanisa kwa sababu wana KNUT walienda sana <laughs> Bishop niko hapa na viongozi wengi wa chama cha ODM na sisi tuna nidhamu tofauti sana na nidhamu ambayo imeonyeshwa na wana KNUT hapa katika chama cha ODM chairman Mutulu atakuambia katibu mkuu akisimama anazungumza kwa niaba ya wengine wote. Nataka niombe viongozi wote wa chama cha ODM ambao tumeambatana nao leo wasimame ili muwaone tu kisha mimi kama katibu wao nitawakilisha ujumbe wa chama cha ODM. Simameni tu. Ah wasije hata mbele. Hawa ni watu disciplined kabisa. Tuko na viongozi wa ODM kutoka nyanja tofauti kaunti ya Makueni naona viongozi wa Makueni, Kitui, Machakos, National Office wakiongozwa na Executive Director wetu anaitwa Mheshimiwa Odoro Mwen, kiongozi wa vijana Tyson Mutusi, kijana wenu hapa na naona mpaka chairman wa Nyandarwa, Dickson, ametoka Nyandarwa kote mpaka hapa. Tafadhali mketi chini na waheshimu nyinyi wote. Mheshimiwa Mutulu unapendwa ndani ya chama cha ODM. Unajua ni rahisi sana kuwa mwenyekiti wa chama cha ODM kaunti ya Kisumu. Ni rahisi sana kuwa mwenyekiti wa chama cha ODM kaunti ya Migori. Huko hakuna maneno. Hapa wako ndani ya mdomo ya Simba. Mwaka uliopita ile wakati mwingine governor tulikuwa na rafiki yetu anajiita Kavaluku hapa. Mnakumbuka Kavaluku? Eh. Hey. Kavaluku alikuwa anapeleka watu ya ODM ndio sana hapa. Lakini huyu mheshimiwa Mutulu alikuwa anasimama imara yeye anasema cha, chama yake ni nini? ODM. Wakati huu tuko na rafiki zetu wa Waipa hapa. Hata Mutulu akitaka kusimamisha candidate MCA anaambiwa hapana hii ni wiper zone. Wacha hiyo, enda pole pole. Na ndio kwa maana unakuta Mutulu anavinjiliwa lakini yeye anasimama imara ndani ya chama cha ODM. Nataka nikutambue Mutulu specifically ya kwamba wewe ni kiongozi. Wewe ni kiongozi ambao tunaenzi na kwa niaba ya chama kizima cha ODM. Kwa niaba ya makao makuu ya chama. Kwa niaba ya kinara wetu Mheshimiwa Raila Molo Odinga ambaye alisafiri huko Ujerumani lakini aliongea na wewe nataka watuseme pole sana kwa kumpoteza mke wako. Unaweza kujivunia sana kuwa mwanachama wa ODM. Kuna watu wamesimama hapa mbele chama imewasaidia chama ya ODM lakini hawawezi kusema watu wa NHIF wamesimama hapa wakaongea. Nilikuwa nafikiria watasema NHIF wale wafanyikazi wako sasa ule mtu alitutetea wakati mswada mpya wa SHIF ulikuja kwa Senate ilikuwa sifuna SG wa ODM hawajasema Nimeona hapa George Wesonga ako hapa nominated MCA wa Busia. Mnasema ni mwalimu wa NAT. Ako nominated kwa chama gani huko kwa Busia County Assembly? ODM. Mheshimiwa Mutulu, huyu jamaa anaitwa Sosion. Wakati alikuwa SG wa chama, walimu wakakuja wakaona baba wakasema katiba inasema there must be a representative of workers in the National Assembly. Nani alinominate Sosion na kuwe MP? Chama gani? Lakini hawezi sema sahi kwa sababu vile wamesema hapa sahi sosio na amekaa chini ya maziwa eh amekaa chini ya ngombe ananyonya tu ye mwenyewe amesema hako mahali mzuri walimu bado wako mahali mbaya hii chama mheshimiwa mutulu wewe endelea kushikilia chama kwa sababu nakuambia kwamba wakenya wote wanatazamia chama cha ODM kukomboa hii nchi mheshimiwa Kalonzo amekuwa hapa nimesikia MCA mwingine ananiambia Ati sifuna oh mkumbushe baba ako sijui rizazi oh patia sijui nani we MCA rafiki yangu boss last week sunday tumekuwa na Kalonzo Nairobi amenipatia waziri wa mambo ya kigeni ya nchi ya Kenya nani hupeana wizara sasa wewe unatuambia nini bwana <laughs> wewe unatuambia nini kama tulikuwa na yeye akasema sifuna ndiye atakuwa waziri wa mambo ya kigeni chini ya serikali yake wewe unatuambia mambo gani ingine? nani anapeana viti kwa serikali 
Bwana msiingilie hivi vitu. Mimi nataka kuambia watu wa Waipa nikiongozwa na governor. Governor acha nikwambie siri ya watu ya ODM kwa kiongozwa na huyu mzee Mtulu. Ile kitu watupendi kuona ni baba akisukumwa. Eh, mkianza kusukuma baba zitu tunasema hii watu namna gani? Waachana na mzee. Lakini mambo inaenda pole pole. Kenya mzima inatarajia kwamba azimio itakomboa hii nchi. Na nilimwambia Kalonzo ya kwamba shetani asiingilie hapa katikati ya watu wako sana. Ukiona vitu ambavyo inaandikwa kwa magazeti leo hii, wanataka kutusambaratisha. Wanataka waingize fitina ndani ya azimio. Oh, sijui nani ndio kiongozi, nani atachukua baada ya baba Mutulu. Baba alikupigia simu akiwa Ujerumani. Ilichukua siku kumi kufika. Simu kutoka Ujerumani na simu kutoka hapa Nairobi kufika hapa ukambani ni the same. Ndege ya kutoka Addis Ababa huko mnasema baba anaenda AU kufika Nairobi ni 2 hours kama ile tumechukua kwa barabara tukitoka Nairobi mpaka hapa. Mkiitisha maandamano baba atafika mbele yenu kutoka Addis Ababa. Hakuna mahali baba ameenda. Kwa hivyo mimi nataka niombe viongozi wa azimio. Kenya inatutarajia sisi na tutegemea sisi. Msije mkakubali hawa ndugu zetu ambao wanaingiza hadithi ndani ya magazeti, ndani ya vyombo vya habari eti kwamba kuna misukosuko ndani ya ODM. Hakuna msukosuko. Mimi na Kalonzo tuliongea, nikamwambia Kalonzo, we kaa tu hapa nyuma ya baba. Sisi watu ya ODM tunachukuanga instructions from only one center. Baba akisema left, tunaenda left. Akisema right, tunaenda right. Kaa tu hapo nyuma mambo itakuwa mzuri. Angekuwa hapa angewaambia sifuna aliwaambia. Mnanielewa nyinyi watu? Tunaelewana watu ya Majakos Mazaku tunaelewana. Kwa hivyo mimi nataka nimalize kwa kusema mambo mawili. 2027 watu hawatatafuta ule mtu wako na pesa. Uchaguzi ya 2027 si ya ule mtu mwenye ni mjanja. Nasikia wanatutisha wanatuambia oh nyie hamuna pesa. Hamjui kujipanga. Hii ruto ni mjanja. 2027 wa Kenya wanatafuta mtu ambaye anajua kazi. Huyu mjanja kazi imemshinda. Na hiyo pesa yake kazi imemshinda. Wa Kenya wanalia wanaumia. So sio nipekendi yako sawa. Wa Kenya wanaumia wanasema tunatafuta uongozi. 2027 hatutafuti mtu ambaye ako na akili mingi. Tunatafuta mtu ambaye anajua nini? Kazi. Mimi nawaambia na nilisema Homa Bay Ruto is going to be a one term president because wa Kenya kila mahali wanatuambia ile uchungu wako nayo wanaazimio msijaribu ku extend hata na siku moja. Msijaribu ku extend hata na siku moja. Na waambia Ruto is going to be a one term president. So sion, enda umwambie nimesema. Wewe ulikuwa mtu yangu wa ODM, nilikuingiza kwa bunge. Sasa na kutuma pia uwaambie Ruto kwa heri. Hey, eh, amalize eh? Aende. Tunataka watu ambao wana uongozi roho safi, mtu ambaye ana utu anaweza kusikia kilio cha wananchi. Si wananchi wanalia we unafinya zaidi. Wanasema wapende wasipende. Haiwezekani. Kwa hivyo tunataka mkae ngangari. Wana ODM, wana Waipa, tusizozane. Tafadhali, tukae pamoja, tukomboe hii nchi kutoka kwa watu kama Socion na rafiki zake. <laughs> Governor nataka nimalize Nataka nimalize governor ni kutume kwa governors wenzako. Sisi ambao tumechaguliwa kama maseneta ndani ya ODM, ndani ya azimio, we are not the problem with devolution. Chairman wako, chairperson wako Mheshimiwa Ann uh, Waiguru alikuja senate juzi, wanalia pamoja na magavana wengine hata niliona Sakaja huko, wanataka uh, 450 million shillings. The billion for devolution. The problem is not us. Tell Waiguru to speak to her senator. Kwa sababu senator wako huyu Kavindu last time wakati ambapo CRA ili propose ya kwamba county zipewe 407 billion, Kavindu alipigia 407 billion. Senator wa Waiguru alisema yeye anatosheka na 395. Mimi kama sifuna nilipiga 407. Sasa hii wewe ukiniambia unataka 450 kwa ajili ya watu wa Machakos. You can trust sifuna will vote for 450. Waache kutusumbua kukuja huko Senate kulialia waongee na senators wao wa UDA senators wa Kenya kwanza ndio waliangusha ugatuzi so waiguru is wasting time coming to talk to the converted sifuna does not need to be convinced that counties need money he needs to convince the senator for Kirinyaga awachane na sisi kwa hayo mengi na washukuru sana kwa kunisikiza Asanteni sana Mungu awabariki na Mungu aweke roho ya mama mahali pema peponi. Thank you. Basi
nimepeana rambi rambi zangu kwa bwana Mutulu na familia hakika wewe tu ndio unasikia pali umeguzwa na kuondoka kwa mama lakini nakwambia Yesu ni rafiki wa karibu kuliko ndugu na kuliko mke kwa hivyo mkaribie Yesu zaidi naye atakuwa karibu sana na wewe na familia wametuahidi ya kwamba watasimama na wewe so we really thank the family because we are sure what you have said and because you love your dad because you loved your mom also you are going to to stand with your your mom i want to speak to the nut and tsc kidogo tu i sit in the committee of education at the senate and i know the retired teachers since 2012 our japata benefits zao most of them i want to hear you defending and fighting for them tsc schools are understaffed and we have so many teachers out here who are looking for jobs kindly recommend we are also fighting for them to be employed so that we can have enough teachers in our schools and we want to hear this coming out bwana sisoni tafadhali this what was part of your docket and right now where you sit you should push the agendas of the teachers and the agendas of the schools we want to hear your voice please You know being in the government does not mean that even if they are doing anything wrong you should be quiet. You should guide and lead and direct. Si ndio? Ama mnasemaje? Si ndio hiyo tu? I want to talk of a school here in Machakos called Eyani. Uh Kiva HI Primary School. That school has nine classes studying in one single class. All nine of them, nine classes in one class. And I want to say yesterday I did a motion a statement at the Senate to call the CS of education to come and answer why we don't have classes for those students. And we have only three teachers teaching TSC tafadhali three teachers teaching nine classes we want to hear you talking and we want to see you delivering what you are supposed to be doing there are so many people who are waiting who are, who are requesting to be employed as teachers and they are out here we want to see them employed and this shortage of teachers should end there bwana asifiwe about the government of kenya i want to speak also to the minister of, Edu of education and treasury zile pesa ambazo zinatakikana kutoka kwa serikali kwenda kwa universities aziendi zinaenda wapi hizi pesa and particularly scott theological college which has been closed down for lack of finances and the government of scott more than 300 million we demand for that money we want that money transferred immediately so that our students can come back to school na si scott you theological university peke yake all the universities across the country are crying because government is not transferring the money that is supposed to be transferred to the universities na si universities tu peke yake hata shule zile zingine hizi pesa zote na taxes ambazo tunakatwa zinaenda wapi zinaenda wapi wanadi mnasema punda amechoka si museme kwa sauti kama mnasema punda amechoka <laughs> punda amechoka kodi zote ambazo tunaongezewa sisi kama maseneta waazimio tunakataa hata hiyo motion ya housing tunaenda kuangusha because the majority can have their way 
the minority can have their say will continue speaking asante sana wacha niite dg aendelee hapo na kidogo tu nataka kuguzia hapa kuna shida iko hapa ukambani na hiyo wacheni niongee tu kwa kikamba tiwa pedi na wiba ukamba wa maembe na masungwa na siendo sietwa avocado masungwa maito na maembe maito and umeoka maka wana silingi ile silingi tatu silingi tano maka ikwedu siana mo ni mwe wendi tangaza redioni na isi ya mundu loku kama saa kuku dhoa maembe embwende udhoa na silingi miongwele kilo enuke na ini mumande yeso kwa wa maembe neti ya kambu ni jibai kuitwa vat neta director na mukulia weta we na kambu ni masaku how is machakos benefiting from your company na na angulia wenda ata na mwene ndoka kuwe masungwa na ikuwa na kilo kimwe silingi miongwele ilo dho ya alama kuwete haba kuma miundani nukuye tuwe yo na manda ino kuwende ya na ukua embwe we na maembe duka ate ni meisi wanumba kwaku santeni wa Sa mwenge mwenge ndia za nutanga asiye watanga sana sa maikate undu matailo ta thank you <laughs> na lama asia kana tu idhuku mai tuko ngangari na sisi si wanawake biblia inaniambia nisiweke uume wangu chini na hiyo ni biblia na Mungu anasema hivyo na ninaheshimu wanaume wote ndio maana nasema mudhama apatiwe heshima na kila mtu asidharauliwe tunawaheshimu lakini pia tupatieni space tuweze kufanya kazi watu wanataka nianze kupigana na governor governor amekaa kwa kiti ni mwaka moja hata miaka mbili haijaisha mpatieni muda afanye kazi na akishindwa na kazi nitawaambia na mimi nataka kutangaza hapa wazi hadharani. Wanaume ambao mnasema nilienda kulala, mimi nimetoka America juzi kupigania watu wa bomb blast. Na ninafanya kazi ile ambayo mliniita kufanya. Na mimi kama mnataka nianze vita, sitapigana na vita na governor. Governor nikiona mahali iko shida, ninamueleza hapa iko shida na wakati atanishinda mtasikia sauti ya kabindu ana bishop raile ambia ukita twaile kukita bishop muinenge loza ni mtu yange <laughs> muinenge ni mwambata neni muinenge loza ni mtu yange ni mwambata basi yeye asume onena makilie 2027 tuikuo tisa sawa tuichao na tukasililwa ni nywe na tionyo mutana sasa na ume mka tutana nyamo kwamba nyai na kwa kwa mbwa mkatotana ni amo asante